Oliver, your time is coming. Forgiveness is out of the question. You will pay for your crimes. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Uh, welcome back to part 4 of chapter 17. This will be the last battle video for this chapter. As Oliver will die in this video. Well, actually he won't die. <laughs> yeah, funny thing about that. Oliver doesn't actually die. You just knock him out, I guess. I don't know. It's weird because in Radiant Dawn he does come back, and he is actually he does doesn't really have the same roles he had in this game. He has a kind of a, a strain a, a estranged role in Radiant Dawn. It's uh, one of those things you'll have to see to actually believe. I'm not really gonna spoil that for you guys, but. Yeah, he doesn't really die in this game. He just... You apparently knock him out, and he just disappears. And then he comes back like he wasn't even hurt in the, la in the next game. But whatever, whatever. There's so many things I can complain about for Radiant Dawn that I really don't feel like getting into it. So I won't. Anyways, Oliver has a spell called Nosferatu. And yes, Oliver is a bishop, uh, which is the advanced class of a priest, which is what uh, Rise is right now. Anyways, uh, he has a spell called Nosferatu. Uh, that, what that spell does is it actually, whenever it hits you, it uh, sucks away how much damage it does to uh, the unit you're attacking with it. And then he uh, uses that damage and heals himself with it. So it's kind of like Absorb... Mega Drain from, like, Pokemon games. Although, there is a set amount of HP that it will, uh, recover based on how much damage the person can do with it. So, for instance, I believe... I want to say that it could have done 5 damage to Nephany. Well, if it did do that 5 damage to Nephany, Oliver would heal about 5 health. So, that's how, uh, Nosferatu works. I wouldn't say it's that useful of a spell. I mean... Yeah, it can help you restore HP, but it's a very heavy spell. Uh, chances are you won't really double with it unless you have a very fast character. And, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's very useful. There's so many other spells that are better in my opinion. But hey, that's my opinion. I'm probably wrong. I've been wrong about a lot of things in the past. I'm willing to accept that. Can't believe Kieran's already at level 3. Damn. And also, killing that Halberdier would gain you an Adept spell. I'm pretty sure we all know what Adept does by now. Soren's activated it so many times. Uh, but for those of you who forget already, it basically um, gives you one extra attack in battle if it activates. Which, in turn, would waste your uh, weapon uses more. But it would also do an extra attack, so it's not that bad. See, it did 8 damage to Nephany, so we heal 8 damage. And unfortunately, Wrath did not work for Nephany right there. I wish it did. Uh, Wrath would have uh, upped her chances of actually landing a critical hit. So that would have been actually been good if she uh, actually hit with that. And Jill killed Oliver. Or, well, knocked Oliver out. I don't know. I just Whenever I see an enemy in this game that go down, I automatically assume that they've been killed. Even though they're not actually killed. Like, for instance, Mawarum wasn't killed when they beat him up in Chapter 15. But yes, we have completed the chapter. And Rayson is questioning the Heron we have on our backs right now. And Rayson automatically recognizes her as her, or his, younger sister. Although, I think he mentions this earlier on when we, uh, he enters the battle. Or, not really enters the battle. Uh, in the... Uh, pre-chapter dialogue before this. He mentions that he had a sister named Leanne. So, I guess we could have all seen that coming already. But yeah, apparently the forest kept her safe over these last few years. We're also going to meet Tabarn, the king of... I really don't want to say it. <laughs> I've botched it enough already, and I already forget what the correct pronunciation is. Uh, let me... I need to look at that uh, word, that the name of his country, and just look at it, look at all the vowels and the consonants, and just try to 
pronounce it the way it should be pronounced, but it's it's hard. It's very hard. So Ike is telling uh, Prince Rayson and to Barn about how the Apostle wants to apologize uh, for the massacre of Serenus Forest. Rayson still doesn't really want to forgive her, but he's going to meet with the Apostle no matter what, so I guess he does want to hear it from her mouth. And the Apostle is going to do something we'd never expect. She's actually going to kneel down in front of them. I mean, with someone as uh, so used to her own customs as she is, you wouldn't really expect her to do that, but she is truly that sorry uh, for what happened to the Heron race. Because that was not uh, the intention of her people, but it was just a bunch of people who uh, just wanted to do that regardless, or spoke out against them. And Leanna is actually going to forgive Sanaki, uh, despite Rayson's uh, unwillingness to do so. But hey, it got us out of this situation, so I guess we got to be happy for that. Anyways, uh, I got one minute left in this video. Uh, the reason I cut it so shortly was because uh, there's that there's actually a cutscene that follows this. An actual cutscene, not one of those long bits of dialogue, an actual cutscene. And I kind of need to work on that footage because uh, the cutscene kind of got all glitched out during the recording session. I don't know why, I guess it's because I opened another window of uh, the internet while I was uh, recording, which is probably a huge mistake. So the audio got kind of glitched out and got behind the video. So I'm going to tweak that a little bit and try to fix it. And that's why I'm going to have that first in the next video. And then I can just have the rest of part four playing right after that. And then I'll also have that uh, announcement video I wanted to make. And that should about do it for part four of chapter 17. But for now, I have to end this video. This is Slim Kirby. See you guys next time.